I grew up like a savage. <laughs> All of my, that's the shit though. And I, and and just to go into that, what made you pick that? Or, or so that is that tracks or polo? So tracks sent me polo. Tracks sent me like his original. Um, he just redid it. He did his version. Okay. And um, I liked it, and I gave it to Yancey, and he was like, "Oh, we could do this." Um, I want to get Pilo too. Okay. And I was like, okay. I, at that time, I wasn't so familiar with Pilo. Okay. Um, and so that was all him. But I just wanted to make sure whatever we did, if there was going to be something that was like Bay Area inspired, Tracks has to come with me. Okay. I had to fight for that. Um, and so that was it. But it was it started with Tracks originally. I'm trying to think. I, when I'm listening to that song in my head right now, I hear both of them. Right? Yeah, it was it was a, what that now that part wasn't my idea. That wasn't um, your idea. That, to bring them together. But yeah. I love that because they were like, you need something like this. You need a loyal. Yeah. Put around loyal. I'm yeah. like, loyal's the area. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so I was like, well, mm-hmm. I have to I don't I'm not gonna be that girl to come out with something and I'm from here and we right. didn't had Right. So, I, no. And so I really had to fight for that. I think that was probably the beginning of them being like, oh, she's she a little difficult. Yeah, Because I was like, I, I have to have that. Right. Um, I was happy I did that. It's a proud moment for mm-hmm. me. Yeah. Um, Is that your biggest song to date? Yeah. We going for Wife Yet Home right now, though. That's going I, three times. That's good. We going to the Grammys. We going to, I'm telling you right now, Netta, when it goes platinum, I want my commemorative plaque <laughs> so I can hang up. See, this is the thing, though. I don't have, like, a machine, so I don't. Well, you got a new, you got some new <laughs> members. Right. You got some new members. Whatever we can do, we part of this. Mu- we part of this machine. This. So when are you gonna shoot? When, you shooting a video? I'm gonna shoot a video. I'm probably like at the end of December, early January. Please let me have my input now. Okay. Okay. So this it, it has to be. Um. Thin line between love and hate. Oh shit. <laughs> and uh, what's the other one with the uh, not gonna cry? Uh, Wayne Exhale. Wayne Exhale. Thin line and one more love story. It has to be all those elements. Love Listen, me? the cinematography on this video. We gonna get. I'm calling it now. Whoever I don't know who you deal with, but the best guy. We might have to call my man Todd's man. You know what I'm saying? Ty's right, coming, man. Ty, time. We, we didn't told him, man. Like, because this is one thing we talked about when Ty's was here. Mm-hmm. You know how they say, uh, I, don't, I don't even know who I'm thinking of, but whoever had these dreams and visions, right? I, I literally have this vision of all the movers and shakers, the doers and the sayers from this area being at one place at one time. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do that. I'm just saying though, I I, could you? Uh, no, I'm just saying, not even necessarily for you. I'm talking oh. about for us. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. If we all was in one place at one time, mm-hmm. we wouldn't even be having this conversation with you about how do yeah. we push this. Right. It'd just be, be going through done. the system. Yeah, coach is working with Gucci. Gucci was like a recruitment process. He pulling up Thug, Young Scooter, all these guys, Migos. Then coaching them, fine tuning them. Then they going off to be these millionaires on their own and pulling up other people. That's how it has to be. Yeah. That's what we have to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's, I'm, one, that's one thing I love about Atlanta. Atlanta. I knew you was gonna say that. That's one thing I love about them. Just their ability to come together, regardless, and um, so many different like pockets of greatness. Greatness. Of music. Greatness. Um, what do we have to do in the bay to get that? Uh, do not well, ask me. Man, listen, man. First of all, first of all, we gotta get over we gotta give we gotta get over petty beefs, like right, and uh, all this I don't like this person and then and appreciate somebody for their greatness, like you said. Appreciate people. People are gonna have disagreements. But like we we like come from a hyper violent place. You know what I'm saying? Like, rest in peace to them young folks that died in Orinda. You know what I'm saying? And, and and you know, God bless their families. But it's shit like that. Like, we are hyper violent. Like, for no reason. I don't know what that come from. Plus, this place that we call Atlanta is surrounded by people that migrate there, come from those colleges. People come from culture. You know, like, when I just was at Afrotech, you performed an a event for Afrotech, uh, right? I did something at, uh, what's that? What's it called? No, it's like the small club on um, Telegraph, like kind of by Make Weston. 
Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Down. Okay. I, I don't know the name of it. I forgot. Somar? Somar. Somar. So, um, but what the reason I brought that up is because the people that was in town. Yeah. Like, I actually was standing up there talking to Mr. Fab when we looked out and I was like, man, it's been Oh, home. Mr. Fab, too. Mr. Fab, too. He's, he's held me down. Yeah. yeah. It's been a shout out to Fab, man. Yeah. It's been a yeah, long man. fucking time since I've seen a room full of people dancing. I'm saying dancing like like usually you in the club it's some arms folded it's some bottles it's yeah. some you know what I'm saying it's the shit people was dancing like everybody like yeah, swag surfing and they the whole crowd mm. I was like this shit is nuts like I'm kind of jealous I haven't had this much fun well, you know, in a Oakland long time different. Oakland is different <laughs> Oakland is different mm. so it's a whole, it's a whole different thing and yeah that's yeah cool. yeah that's that was cool, cool. I love seeing people have fun. yeah I couldn't believe yeah. it. I couldn't, yeah. it's a little different. But our young folks, right? So yeah. that's what I'm saying. We like yeah. to, it's like, yeah. I'd rather the fun than the killing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's dope too. I'm yeah. learning a lot from like the younger, um, the younger cats. Yeah. It's like, just enjoy. Just enjoy it. Just do it. Stop overthinking. Just mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. Have fun. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not necessarily, that wasn't really my way of thinking early on. It was like, what's next? What I got to do to get on? Ugh, I'm irritated because I'm not there yet. I need to go to school. I need to, like, not really living in the moment. Right. That would be right. my thing. Who is your, some of your favorite people to collaborate with um, in, 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 in any form of the art, right? Um, whether it's writing, dancing. I seen one of my uh, daughter's uh, dance teachers in your video. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Paula? Yeah, Paula. Yeah, yeah. My, my daughter. Her. Yeah, she taught me. She's good, right? She taught my daughter a lot of shit and how to dance, right? So who are your, some of your other um, artists that you love to collaborate with, like your favorite dancers, your yeah. favorite writers, or uh, R&B acts? You, can, uh, you come that from yeah, yeah, rappers or whatever. Yeah. Well, specifically with that video, Three Times Crazy, that video and a video I did a long time ago called Tonight, those are my two uh, favorite videos because we had a lot of fun and we did a lot of choreo. And uh, my best friend is the one who uh, kind of like is the brainchild behind the style of dancing we did and the locations for it and bringing in specific kinds of dancers. And I always um, admire like my friends and people that I keep around that can do a lot of different things. Okay. And um, so it's always been so fun to kind of like come up with people I grew up with and be creative with them. Um, in the studio, I don't like the studio. Everybody knows it, but I know I got to get it done. Right. So I like to get in and out. Okay. I want to get it done. They be like, oh, I know it's hot in there. Come out while we may. Uh-uh. Let yeah. me fin- finish this. Finish yeah. And then you can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to be out. Right. Um, but I always say, um, when I moved to Atlanta was when I learned the key things I needed to know about recording okay, and using my voice the right way. Okay, I had this strain that I thought was wrong and I would not really necessarily use it. And when I moved to Atlanta, it was somebody there. I was like, that's going to be your superpower. That's the thing you need to use. That's going to make you step aside from, you know, why do you like Jasmine? So why do you like Mary? Why do you like Tina Turner? It's because they have that thing. Why would you not use yours? And so, um, I kind of learned that idea there. Um, and then I met, um, a lot of good friends in Atlanta. One of my best friends, she's from there. We did a lot of writing together. Okay. Um, I just like to work with people that I connect with and that I can learn something from. Yeah. And um, that's kind of like been my process. I did go into this thing where I kind of started to isolate myself because it start, this stuff had just became so much. So I've been breaking out of it. Okay. Um, and so I feel like wifey at home is going to be that run to get me Man, back. wifey at home. <laughs> we going to the Grammys. Corn, I'm dressing up, man. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Let's see the world. Yeah, man. We ain't going to be able to contact her then. Though. She gonna That's be... another thing, too, I want to say. Um, even getting, like, radio play on that at uh-huh. Cameo. Uh-huh. I love them. Like, man. they didn't have to be oh, that. Let me they tell you something, though, Netta. They don't got no choice. I'm going there, man. I'm <laughs> cocky with this shit right now. That shit is fire. Like, if you're going to play that shit, because I'm seeing, listen, I know when the trends is coming. Yeah. We, we they Afro beats right now. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. Yeah. Like when Fabulous did it, I was like, oh shit. He, he he did choosy. Like right. I'm like I'm listening to these beats. We like you know what I'm saying. It's the 400th year uh-huh. since the first ship left. Okay. So the president of Ghana is inviting us back for New Year's. Yeah. Y'all, we should all go. We should promote your record there. Look, boom. I, there it go. I love that. <laughs> you know how Kanye got Donda's house and then all them creatives like Virgil and everybody in there? That's me. That's us. We're right here in the room. I'm telling you. We're going to Ghana yeah. for I New Year's and we're going to perform in Ghana and Nigeria. That would be insane. 
Because um, you like that? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. There's a radio station out there that actually plays my music. Really? They need that radio. Is it, what is it? Um, Lagos? Is it? Lagos. Lagos? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Lagos. We need to they go there. Happen. We need to go if for I New Year's. There, I, that would be... And he said he giving us thirty percent off. The president, he said, all my brothers come oh, back home. He said it. Let's <laughs> take him up on that offer. We going. That's it. I'm, that, matter of fact, we gonna get. Matter of fact, we gonna get some sponsorship and funding. So look, what do we have to do to actually promote this record? What, what we gotta do? We, I, I think it's something extreme like that, it, and we make a documentary out of it. We make. I'm calling Gazi. It gotta be. Yeah, Gazi won't answer my calls. <laughs> yeah, so we got to do that. He's been so dope to me, I can't even be mad. But he don't answer my calls. Furious answer my calls, but he can't get to the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need the shit. I'm not going to lie, because it's a big record, man. If 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 people, y'all got to pay attention. I'm not the only one. I'm not a fool. I know. And the reason I'm saying that about Camille, because they got to play it. If you're going to play somebody from home, you're going to support people from home. Well, like, you know what? The, the reason that is, it's so... So there's been a lot of people that, you know, when I came back or I no longer had a deal, like then I was no longer important. Oh, yeah. Or I was no longer of I, I couldn't help anybody in any yeah. way. Mm-hmm. I was treated like I was invisible. Yeah. I mean, you can yeah. come to this show. We only got about X amount for the movie. Yeah. But the fact that Von, Shay, Lex, DC, all of them there, like, oh, I like this. I'm going to play it. Yeah. That, it means so much to me because I know what it feels like for me to, people to treat me like I'm nothing yeah. because something changed. Yeah. Right. And um, that was just big for me. Yeah. That was big. Now, Netta, I'm tired of playing tag and rundown and shooting 21 and throwing <laughs> you passes. Right now, we at the point on um, 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 Love and Basketball when he right. pushed her on the grass, right? Oh, okay. That's where we at right okay. now, right? So, what is Netta's love life like? How does that work? And how does that work into your career as a woman? Because I'm always interested. Like, I got a daughter. So so I'll be trying to tell her, I want to give her the game. Like, I want to tell her. See, to me, you cool as a motherfucker in the room right now, right? <laughs> so I want to teach her how to be cool as a motherfucker at all times. Mm-hmm. Like, don't never play yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't never be this. Don't never be that. Just be smooth, right? So how, how, how is that and how is dating or how is your love life? How did that, I, don't, I don't be in, in your business, but I mean, like, how does that work as you being an artist? I know how it worked for the girl at Ikea or the girl at Nordstrom <laughs> that the nigga want to bring the clothes back and all that. I know how it worked for her. <laughs> I don't know how it worked for the R&B Damn, sensation. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just feel like when you have something Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I've definitely been the girl that didn't get it and thought this was it and it really wasn't. Right. And I've had to learn that thing time and time again. And you know how you you're gonna go through the same thing over and over until you learn that lesson. Mm-hmm. And um I think I would always come from a place of like I know my heart and I know how I am. So right. if somebody is showing me that this is who they are and this is what I'm attracting, then this must be who they are, right? Right. And then I find out that, you know, it ain't. It ain't what it is. Um and I think it's just been like going through experiences and either learning from them and not learn or not learning from them. Mm-hmm. Um, but it has put me in a place where I am kind of afraid to fall in love. I do think that that is kind of too good to be true. Mm-hmm. I am kind of traumatized mm-hmm. by like relationships and men because I don't really know what to believe. And right. then you have this perception of who I am and then you get to know me and I'm cool and I am like the girl that work at Ikea and I right, am like right, the girl right. and then I get played because right. I'm like understanding I see the potential like you know right, what I mean like right. um, there's nothing working with wrong with working at Ikea no no nothing wrong with no I, and <laughs> okay. the reason I said that is because when you put yourself on, in, in the public's eye right yeah, it's like um, I, know what you mean. I see Netta blowing her nose yeah. like oh she went to the bathroom twice like, like she must be pregnant. Like, what? Like, come right. on. They don't let you live. That's real. That's real. Like, they don't let you live. It's always something. So, yeah. I, I was when I asked you that, like, of course, there's nothing wrong with working at Ikea. And uh, there's nothing wrong with going to college and all that. But I don't promote none of that. I promote entrepreneurship. I just you. want all the kids to know. I, listen, sell something. Listen, if I, if I had it to do again, I probably wouldn't go to college. Yeah. Um... 
It sounds crazy because we I train. Mean, it sounds even wild to say. It's not wild. But to I say that. you need to have a plan and a goal mm-hmm. and something of like importance and you know have a. It has to be a solid plan if you decide to not. I'm only saying that because I I still pay college loans. It's crazy, and I'm it? not even using my. I say I say because I always I don't promote college with kids now because of the way that the world has turned. Right. Yeah, we good. are a, a, a producing and consuming society. We are a capitalistic society. Mm-hmm. If you start up a sneaker business right now, you are more likely to succeed than going somewhere and throwing boxes. Just being honest. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's a more of a buy, sell, trade type of economy than it is like. You know, whatever. I don't want to go that deep into it, but I'm just promoting entrepreneurship. If you feel like there's something that you're good at that you can sell people, always do that. And you can do your nine to five. You well, know what I'm saying? Some people who got yes. uh, college degrees don't even work in the no, same no. field that they got exactly. degree. Yeah. You need to exactly. go to school for what you're going to do. Like, yeah. if you're going to be a doctor, go. If you're going to be a lawyer, go. Yeah. People yes. get these BAs yeah. and all that. Yeah, and like, yes. manager and like, hey, man, don't go, go, don't go take criminal justice and you ain't good because you don't need that to be a cop. You're not gonna be a lawyer. You're not right. gonna be a pro- because when you go to school, you know the the, the, the upper classmen got the easiest shit to tell you to take. Like take this, this, this. Yeah. That's the people that parents forced them to go to school, or they thought it was the right thing. Yeah. Getting out of their situation. I'm about to go grab this debt real quick, and I'll be back in four years broke. But uh, anyway, so yeah. so as far as the love life, what would you mm-hmm. advise? And because I'm I'm not getting your oh. I'm not getting your advice. A little bit for kids and young women that aren't in the business, but mostly for women that's in the business. Because I always feel like you can be attached to or associated with, like, without even nothing going on. If you go have a business lunch with somebody, <laughs> net is dating such and such. You know, like, this happens. So how do you how do you move and shake like that? Especially in a room full of, like men and a lot of them are hounds or whatever and I'm sure that they, that they be on you but how do you move in a business mm-hmm. um, I think I made my mistakes early on I learned from quick okay. and I just kind of like didn't let it um, hmm. I think now right now like I'm just so like focused on the goal yeah. like I want money. Right. I want to make impact. Right. I want people to love my music. Right. I want to give back. Like I want um, to make a statement in everything that I do, and I'm not gonna let any man come in between that. I think that's probably always been what it was for me. You know, you fall in love or you have a relationship, you have a boyfriend, it doesn't work out. But I think not to necessarily put it always on someone else or another guy or whatever. Um, I know for me, my first love and my first is always going to be my music. Mm -hmm. So me being a girlfriend or a wife, I don't even know if I would know how to fully do it, especially with this just being my everything, um, finding the balance in that. Um, And it's so crazy because I grew up with a lot of boys and so I do know the game, but then I also will like fall for somebody and really buy into them and get played. Mm. And... um, you know, I've, I've been working on that and I've learned from it, but it, it kind of scares me. If I like somebody, yeah. like, I get kind of nervous. Like, let me find a reason not to. Because yeah. I, was, I don't be wanting to feel listen, that. Listen, I swear yeah, to I you. I that. swear to you. I was about to say that. I was about to ask you, do you find yourself blocking your blessings? Yes. <laughs> yep. I was about to ask you that. Yep. And then also being hard on myself and like not being where I want to be yet. So I'd be like, well, how could somebody... I mean, want to deal with me yeah I'm not, my stuff's not together yet you right. know what I'm saying so I would have like all those right. thoughts as well but right. then like even with the wife at home record just like people would be like well why wouldn't you want to say something to the girl why wouldn't you want to bust this guy out or whatever but I have many reasons why I wouldn't but one of them would be I'm hurt I don't even want to put this hurt on you. Right. Like, let me just go. Let me go hurt over here and get over it. Right. But I don't even want to be the one to come and tell you mm-hmm. that and now you're in pain. I don't want you to feel happy with what I'm feeling. Yes. You know what yes, I mean? And yes. so, um, I I'm felt like afraid that. Of the idea of heartbreak. I don't be wanting that. I got that from that I record. That. I, I yeah. also got from that record, um, I got some, I felt like you wrote it. I felt like there was some truth in the record. And I also felt that there was like more to it. I felt like that shit was like a soap opera. Like, mm-hmm. I felt like it was more like, you know, like, 
I let you get away with some shit too, though. Like yeah. there was a point where I knew, and I was like, "Damn, I'm already here. Fuck, you know what I mean? And do I want to start over? Do I want to disturb my peace? Because when you're around me, this shit is lit. Yeah, you know what I mean. But then you gone, and I know it's like, ah, I get it now. You used to be acting funny. You would do this type of shit. Oh, I ain't seen you in a minute. At this time, it's always this. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm telling you. I, um, it's the biggest record in America, Corn. Like, <laughs> tell me. Yeah, and then, you know, my Quite schedule different. isn't always, like, the same thing every day. Right. So I got to be over here doing stuff. Mm-hmm. So I mm-hmm. don't even know what's mm-hmm. happening. And I went through this phase of, like, oh, I'm just going to get to know somebody. I'm not going to look on their socials. Right, I'm right, not going right. to search them and right. do all this stuff. And the, the times I needed to do that, I didn't. And I was pleasantly surprised. Damn. But... You know, I'm not the girl that's going to necessarily show up at your house, get yeah. you on flats, right, call you right. girl, call you. I can't, for one, I don't want you to be like, well, yeah, Netta. You know Netta? Yeah, Netta. Yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, Netta, you let me tell you something. <laughs> you move with way too much finesse and swag to even be on that. Like you way too cool. Like I would hate to see, I would hate to see that. I'm like, Netta, yeah. girl, let's do trip. I, I I tell you to just like, you know, I I'll be moms in that situation. Man, shake that shit off, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'll be like, man, you like, know I, I definitely be hurt and I definitely go back and try to like evaluate my own behavior and be like, well, what did I miss? Right. Were you just so into this that you missed that there was something weird about this? But like, yeah, I would never sit up here and go back and forth with, you know. I try to put, I try to tell women all the time because I I love talking to women and I love hearing their stories, right? Mm -hmm. And then so I like to give women my input on men, right? And there's different dynamics to men and we mature much slower. Right. Uh, Mm -hmm. As far as dealing with women, like like much slower. It's Mm -hmm. always your ex or somebody going to come back and like, I wish I would have just fucked with you because, man, this happened and this happened and she got me like this. Now you like, nigga, too late. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? This ain't you know what I'm saying? But that happens. That's that's who we are. Like we we just wired totally different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We like we like wired. So we don't see the seriousness and we might love somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. And. A man can be too afraid to just tell you, like, look, this is what's going on with me. You know what I'm saying? And I got this. You probably, it probably could have ended a different type of way oh on a different I type of time. It. You see what I'm saying? Like, but, there's, I mean, there was one guy who, um, it, it just always stuck with me that was honest from the beginning. That was okay. just like, I ain't, yeah. I ain't, yeah. Like, I'm not cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm yeah. I'm gonna always appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, I let it, I mean, I was like, okay, now I know. So right. going to blaze right. over this. Right, thing. right, right. But the fact that that was like in the beginning, so I can know, it's more dangerous to meet somebody who is just like the perfect knight in yeah. shining armor. Yeah, like that's crazy. And just like, that's oh, crazy. And ends up being like, I don't know, you might be psychotic. Yeah, nigga, how many bodies you got? <laughs> Where you got them people buried at? <laughs> I, I don't even know what you're capable of. So yeah. I'm not even going to make yeah. this any more dramatic than what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen too many lifetimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gone. Or he like, ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> he might be ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've never seen that. You know, oh, okay. But that, oh, that's crazy. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But I was going to say this, too. You know, like, and we don't, as men, it's the it's the different connection on the emotional level, right? Okay. So there's the emotional thing, and there's the thing, like, when I, I love to hear women say, well, shit, I was just having fun. I was doing what I wanted to do with him because I personally don't believe that can really last just because of the way God made you. Like, God gave you the nurturing shit, the emotional shit, like, and didn't wire men the same way. Although we can be, right? They got to tap into that. But mm-hmm. I feel like when a man and a woman, when a woman is intimate with a man, mm-hmm. whether she's just doing it casually or whatever, eventually it's going to be like a... Oh, it's gonna the gaze is gonna come. You know what I'm saying? So what, what are we? What, yeah. So what? <laughs> look at the way. Oh, he brought me some fish. Like it's just gonna be whatever. You know what I mean? Everything, Everything is gonna be special, right? But men just be like, man, I just be fucking with her. She hella cool. We just, I just go to her house. We watch Netflix. She give me some. She don't ask me no questions. I just cut. That's how we think, like men, like, and I'm talking about fifty year old men. I know, Jesus. This shit is like, Crazy. like you know what I'm saying. So until you tap into that, you will never know. Like never. Yeah. a man will never know. So I, excuse me, ladies, for all mankind, yeah. give us a pass. <laughs> like I know you hurt, but men is just like don't mean they don't love you. You know. So 
We all know what we're doing. I, I, I'm <laughs> asking as a personal request, as a fan, that we get more music like that. Not necessarily okay. about the same content, but I don't know what it is about the song for, for the subject matter. Of course, is great, but just I, I just that to me that's an amazing song, and I love Three Times Crazy. So the fun, I mean, the mix of it. Actually, just to be honest with you, the way the industry is set up now, look at Tiger, single, 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 single. Put it on one project. Got a multi-platinum project through Empire <laughs> before the deal. You know what I'm saying? That he just got. So that's the way the music industry yeah. is set up now. I'm having to um, find my way through that. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm kind of in that transition of trying to catch up. Yeah. I'm you had a team. Yeah. yeah. Or, but even just also like, um, give us more. Give us more. Like, what else you got? That's cool. What else you got? What else you got? But when I'm, I come from that whole, like, here's a full album. Going to eat off of this for four years. That's how. That's how you. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and um, you know, it's just different now. It's hard. It's hard. It's you gotta now. give them that. You gotta give them content. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. You know what I'm content. saying? They want something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Content, yeah. yeah. It, even if it's just in vlogs and shit, like people want to follow you. They want to go into your life. Like, oh, that's her style. Mm-hmm. I like that. She's. It you know what I mean? MCU. It just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was just talking about that too, mm-hmm. and I know that that's key. Um, but I've always not quite found my footing when it comes to that because. I was like, I felt taught by like the Janets and the Michaels and how like being Mystique was the, the star power and you coming out and you killing it and you being everything an artist is and then you go back and now we don't really see you and when we see you it's, it, yeah, it, yeah. I don't, um, I was raised on that idea and um, to now give all yourself and I seen, I was watching like an Amarion interview the other day uh-huh. and he was saying something I was like, oh, I get that. Whereas like to give everything was wrong when we, when I was right, know, right, first coming right, out, when he right. first came out, you're not supposed to do that. Right. But now it's like, it's the give thing. us everything. Yeah. I'm like, but I was trained to do it this way. And I'm also kind of private. So how do I show you what I was showing you too much? But I'm right. looking like I'm forcing it right. without being uncomfortable with it myself. Uh-huh. So finding the balance is kind of... <laughs>